Even though cats are one of the most popular pets in the world, there are a lot of weird things most people don't know about them. Like, the real reason they show their rear end to us can actually be shocking. Each cat has a dominant front paw, and they have secret whiskers not only on their face. You'll learn the truth about all these, but first, here's one of the craziest facts. House cats and tigers share 95.6% of their DNA. Yes, you heard that right. Only 4.5% of your house cat's genes differentiate them from being a giant African tiger. You'll notice that they share some of the same traits like stalking and pouncing on prey and scent and urine marking. This is why. Domestic cats can run as fast as 30 miles per hour. Yes, Fluffy can run that fast over a short distance. Most house cats just don't because they don't want to and they don't need to. Cats are superior hunters and can run and pounce quickly, whether it's to catch their dinner or to escape from danger. This means your house cat can run about two seconds faster than Usain Bolt over a distance of 200 meters. They would just need enough motivation to do so. The average house cat can also jump about five to six times their height, which is about six to eight feet, depending on the size of the cat. This is without taking a running start. If they can run and jump, some cats will jump as high as 12 feet in a single bound. If a human could jump like a cat, we would be able to leap 20 feet in the air. Cats are right-handed or left-handed, or rather right and left pawed. Studies show that cats, like humans, have a dominant front paw. Male cats are more likely to be left pawed, while females are more likely to prefer their right. So, how do you tell which paw your cat prefers? See which one they use first when they go up or downstairs, or take a step into their litter box. If they step with their left paw first, it's likely your cat is a south paw. You can also put some treats in a container and see which paw your cat uses to get them out. The world's oldest cat was 38 years and three days old. The cat's name was Cream Puff, and she lived in Austin, Texas from August 3, 1967 to August 2005. Cream Puff's owner, Jake, had a second cat named Grandpa, who lived to be 34 years and 59 days old. Grandpa was the world record holder for the oldest cat until his sister Cream Puff outlived him. The two cats were fed a diet of dry cat food along with broccoli, turkey bacon, eggs, and coffee with cream. Every two days, they were given an eyedropper of red wine, which their owner claimed was the secret to their longevity. The cats were also very active and had an in-home movie theater where they could watch documentaries. Stairs were built around the house for climbing, and they had a screened enclosure in the backyard to enjoy the outdoors. Flossie is currently the oldest living cat. She was born December 29, 1995, and recently turned 29. Born into a feral cat colony, Flossie is now on her third owner, as she has outlived the previous two. She now has limited eyesight and is considered deaf, but remains active and plays throughout the day. Cats have 32 muscles in their ears. These muscles allow them to rotate their ears a full 180 degrees to narrow in on the source of any noise. Humans, in contrast, have just six ear muscles. Cats have whiskers on their front legs, on the back of their front legs, to be exact. They serve exactly the same purpose as the whiskers on their face, to help detect changes in their surroundings. A cat's whiskers aren't hair. They're embedded deep into the body and connected to both muscles and nerves. Touch receptors in the whiskers act as a sort of radar to send messages to a cat's brain about things in their environment. The real reason cats show their rear to us. It might seem odd, but for cats, this is actually a meaningful gesture of trust and comfort. Why do they do this? In the cat world, the rear end is a very personal area. By showing it to you, your cat is saying they feel completely safe and secure in your presence. It's their way of opening up to you, a sign that they consider you a trusted friend. But there's more to this behavior. Cats communicate a lot through scent. They have scent glands all over their bodies, including around their face and rear end. When your cat is putting their rear end close to you, they might also be trying to share their personal scent as a way of bonding. One British cat is a millionaire. A British cat named Blackie was awarded £7 million when his owner passed away, the equivalent of 12.5 million US dollars. 
The owner refused to acknowledge any human family members in his will and instead left his fortune to the one family member he did want to acknowledge, his cat. Blackie's owner, Ben, made his millions as an antiques dealer. Blackie was the last surviving cat out of a total of 15 cats who all lived a very pampered life. Since a cat can't legally inherit money, Blackie's inheritance was split between three cat charities with instructions to look after Blackie for the remainder of his life. A few million was also left to Ben's mechanic and his gardener. Ben, the antique dealer, isn't the only person to have bequeathed their fortune to their pet. Chanel fashion designer Karl Lagerfeld left his Berman Choupette $1.5 million in 2019. Abraham Lincoln loved cats. The 16th president of the United States was given two kittens as a gift when he was elected president. He named the kittens Tabby and Dixie and loved them so much that he reportedly once let Tabby eat at the table during a formal White House dinner. At one point during his term, Lincoln reportedly claimed that Dixie was smarter than his entire cabinet. He spent many hours talking to his beloved felines inside the Oval Office and was even known to bring in stray cats. In March 1865, during a meeting at General Ulysses S. Grant's headquarters, President Lincoln found three stray kittens roaming outside the officer's tent. He ensured that the officers took the cats in and fed them. Disneyland Resort is home to a squad of feral cats. There are about 200 feral cats living inside the resort, and there have been sightings of resident felines as far back as 1955, shortly after Disneyland opened. There's a story behind the cats, too. Walt Disney wanted an attraction inside the Sleeping Beauty Castle. When he brought engineers into the castle to plan it, he was greeted by a colony of feral cats who had taken up residence. Unfortunately, the cats also brought an infestation of fleas with them. Since he couldn't get rid of the cats without creating public dissent, he adopted them and made them official Disney cast members. Since Disneyland had also attracted a very large rodent population, the cats found Wonderland all over the park. They had an excellent source of food, and the park kept them safe from the dangers usually faced by feral cats. So they were allowed to stay permanently. It worked so well that Disneyland still retains its colony of feral cats. Once in a while, one is spotted by guests, and there are several blogs devoted to reporting the spottings of the Disneyland cats. The cat door was invented by Isaac Newton. This scientist is known for his discovery and calculation of gravity, but he also created the cat door. While working at the University of Cambridge, Newton was frequently interrupted by cats scratching at the door. To stop the constant interruption, he enlisted the local carpenter to see two holes in the door to allow the cats to move in and out freely. Apparently, the two holes are still present at the university today. While cats shouldn't generally eat human food, it's understandable to want to share a treat or a snack with your kitty once in a while. However, there are few absolute no-gos for cats when it comes to human food. So check out this video where we talk about 14 common human foods that are actually toxic and will cause serious illness and even death. And be sure to subscribe to our channel and join our feline-loving community.